All right, now that we have our basic page properties set up, we're going to start putting in our container elements to start building our our structure of our layout for our for our portfolio. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start with the CSS with the style sheet, and then I will go come back to um, my HTML, my source code, to insert the HTML elements to correspond with those uh, those styles that I create. So clicked over to my style sheet here and where it says right beneath on line 27 I have my cursor right after that closing curly brace under SEO I'm going to hit the return key a couple of times so that my cursor is on line 29 and I'm going to type in uh, another comment and this will tell me that these are this is this marks or indicates the header styles the headers the header container styles that I'm creating so it's easier to find later on. And I'm going to hit the enter return key. And the the first one that I'm going to create is going to be the the wrapper that um, wraps our whole wraps our whole header in it. Now we're gonna we're gonna end up nesting a few different uh, div containers within each other in our design here. And the first can the first container that we're going to create is going to be the one that makes it appear so our page goes um, in infinite infinite direction uh, left and right so when you load it up on a any kind of size um, screen uh, it'll appear as if our background just goes goes in, in, in infinity um, in the horizontal direction um, so we're gonna start off with uh, with an ID um, so to to do an ID we start off with the where we type in the pound symbol and this one is going to be called head wrap. So I'm going to uh, just kind of use some abbreviations, some shortened text here, so it's easier to type out, be a little more efficient in finding these later on. So I'm, tr I'm trying to be as descriptive, but also short enough so I don't have to type out a bunch of stuff. So um, head wrap, notice that I have no spaces in there, and then I have a dash in between. Uh, I'm going to open that up with a curly brace and hit the enter return key. Now this is also how we're going to create our fixed header uh, uh, container um, as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in position and, and hit the enter return key when you see that pull up on your code hint and I'm going to select or type in fixed and then end that statement with a semicolon. Uh, next I want to fix this position to the very top so I'm going to type in top and zero pixels. So it's going to the very top, zero pixels, no matter which browser it's going to be in. And then I'm going to set the width to 100%. So this will set the width to whatever screen that it's opening into. It'll be 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a height. Now I, I'm going to set this up as 200 pixels. And I have a logo and everything already set up. Um, your logo might be a little bit different if you decide to make it a little bit different. You are not bound by any means to do something as tall as 200%. If you want to do more of a narrow header, um, which is a pretty common or pretty modern design style, um, totally up to you. You'll just have to remember to make some adjustments later on if you decide to go that route. Um, the value of this header will di dictate a lot of things, or dictate a few things um, as we get down to it. So if you remember that if you ch decide to change the height of this header, uh, you'll need to change some things later on down the road. So just remember that you've done that. Um, this is also where I'm going to go ahead and give my uh, give my header a background color so that it looks as if it's going across that screen. And I've already chosen a specific color. This is a um, kind of a, a nice gray color and all colors have a six hexadecimal value so make sure that you um, do type in six values. You are welcome to choose uh, whatever color you'd like here. And I'm going to end that statement with a semicolon. And then last but not least, I'm going to give this a Z index of something very, very high. So that way, um, this will always be on top. Um, 5,000 is a little overkill, just like negative 5,000 was for our SEO position. But um, we're not taking any chances here. Um, we want this to always be on top.
Okay. Um, next will come the uh, the next nested container, which will allow us to center our our header within within a screen. And we're we're doing a fixed width here, just just for convenience sakes um, and ease of use. Uh, we're not going to do a responsive design um, in a way we're kind of mimicking a responsive design, but it's not a hundred percent a responsive design. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do another ID, and this one's going to be called head contain it's for header container. And we're going to open up a curly brace. And this one is going to get a width, oops, type in width correctly, of 940 pixels. Okay, so that's going to be the width of our page overall. It's it's always going to be 940 all the way down. Um, but we want, and then we also want to give this a height. We want to do the same height as we did the the wrap. So if you adjusted that 200 pixels above, make sure you do the same in your head contain. It's got to be the same height. Um, and then next to center our uh, uh, our head contain in in the center of our page. Uh, we need to use the margin value of zero and auto. We're doing the shorthand version, so this first zero here is stand, it represents the top and the bottom uh, margin value, and then the second value here represents the left and the right. Just a quick review, if there, we were to do this in a long form, it would be zero, auto, zero, auto. Uh, and we'll be using the long form in other, in other places, um, for padding and margin values, but in this case we don't need to, so we're going to go down to the short value. So that's going to be the last thing we need to do for this piece, so I'm going to hit the enter return key and then close that off with a curly brace. Last but not least, uh, we're going to divide up our, our head container um, into two sections. The first one is going to be what's called the nameplate, and this is where we're going to put our logo that we are going to create uh, for our header. The second section is going to be for our nav bar. Uh, in last year's, in year one portfolios, we created a separate section dedicated just for the nav bar that went below the banner. Um, but this year, for the year two design, we are placing both in the same area. So what we have to do is we have to divide them up. So we're going to call this, we're going to give it an ID, and we're going to call it name plate. So name hyphen plate, and then open up a curly brace. And we're going to, we, in order for us to divide this up into two sections, we have to float it. So we're going to type in float and left. So we're going to float it left. And anytime we want to create something that divides and something, you know, in, in a container in half or whatever dimensions we want to divide it in, we need to make sure that we give it a width. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and go with 440 pixels. Uh, I've played around with this uh, a bunch of different times in my mockups, and with the size of our navigation menu that we're going to create, this is about as wide as we can get away with. It's still a pretty good size, um, but some of you might find a lit slightly limiting. And then, again, because we've already given everything else a height, the head wrap, and then the head contain, um, we also need to give this, our nameplate, a height as well. So it's going to be height 200 pixels, and we're going to end that with a curly brace. So as far as the header styles, uh, we're not quite done yet because we are going to add the navigation menu to this, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. We're going to save that for the next tutorial. So I'm done with my style sheet for now, and then I'm going to pop back over to my HTML, my source code, so that way I can start putting in those containers and also put in uh, my logo. And then following that, we're actually going to start, we're going to put in a little bit of a JavaScript piece um, JavaScript function so that we can create a drop shadow as we scroll down. Um, so that'll be coming up in just just a, just a second here. Um, so I've got to find where I want to put my header. I'm looking for the body tag. There it is. I'm going to place it after the heading one where we had that SEO piece. So I'm going to place my cursor right after the closing H1 tag and hit the enter return key. And I'm going to type in a left caret, 
And here I'm going to type in div for div space id. And then you notice in my code hint, if you've saved your style sheet, you should see all so far all of the um, the the IDs that we've created so far. We start off with a head wrap, remember. So don't get that confused. In our um, order here, uh, the wrap always goes below the the contain. Um, because the, obviously it alphabetizes it, so don't get confused and you accidentally select, select the wrong one. So we're going to right caret that and hit the enter return key a couple of times and then left caret forward slash to close that out. Every time we open a tag, we need to close it. So you notice where I'm starting at here, uh, I'm not really doing any spacing. Um, line 11 starts off with the head wrap and then line 13 has that that closing uh, div tag. Um, on line 12 I've given myself an extra space there to nest the next div tag um, which is going to be the header container. So I'm going to tab in to indicate that this div is nested inside of um, the header wrapper. So I'm going to type in a left caret and div id head contain and then enter return key two times and then left caret forward slash so I have space to insert my next piece of content that's going to go inside of the header container. So with my cursor on line 13 I'm going to tab in, in to indent it to indicate that the next piece that I'm going to insert is inside of head contain. So this one is going to be our nameplate. So I'm going to type in a left caret div id and select name plate and then right caret enter return key a couple of times left caret forward slash and the reason why we're doing this is because inside of our name plate is where our logo image is going to go so I'm going to tab in one more time to indicate that all of this stuff is nested within this area so uh, I'm going to insert my image, but first, before I insert my image, I want my I want my image to be the um, link back to the home page, and that's a pretty standard design feature. If you notice, like if you go to many websites, you click on the logo, and it brings you back to the home page. So I'm going to start off by write type or coding in uh, the a element, and so I'm going to left caret here, a href. So the a element is a link element and then enter return key when you type in the href to bring up your browse for file um, code hint. So if you hit enter return a couple of times it'll bring you to your your file finder. So right now I'm going to need to select my portfolio name and then index.html which is our home page. So this image will always go back to the home page and then I need to right caret so I end that piece out and then left caret forward slash to end that statement out so that I don't forget that at the end. So then I'm going to move my cursor in between um, those the, the two carrots there and here's where I'm going to insert my logo. So I'm going to start with a left caret img for image and hit that select that and then space and then src for source and to return and then enter return again when you get the browse um, window or icon there. And then I've saved mine already in my images folder. So I have to go to my images folder. And this, uh, my logo is one, just kind of a generic one. It's one column design. Um, and it's a PNG because I didn't want a background. Yours hopefully will be much cooler and, and more fashionable than mine. So I'm just going to hit the enter return key here and then hit the space bar and anytime we put in an image we must give it an alt tag for our um, for our blind uh, audience. So I'm going to type in ALT and then select that from the code hint and in between my um, quotation marks here I can type whatever I want. It can have spaces, it can be anything. Um, because this is my logo, I probably want to be very descriptive. So I'm going to go with something that's you know has my name in it and digital portfolio. 
and even possibly say something like logo or I could probably just even add, leave it as Jeremy Singh's digital portfolio so that if someone's searching for my portfolio and they click on the images tab in Google it'll bring this up so I'm not quite done with this yet if I don't finish this out I'm gonna have an error so I need to type in the forward slash and write carrot um, the image tags are one of those unique tags that are self-closing so that'll do it for our um, our head contain um, for now um, and the next piece just to break up our videos a little bit so we're not you know so we don't have such long videos I'm going to show you uh, how to add a little bit of a, a JavaScript function to our header so that way when you scroll down we get a really cool drop shadow effect um, as, as your user scrolls down don't forget to file save all um, before you continue on to the next step